Hi everyone, welcome back to the garage. Um, we're going to be fitting these station wagon windows in today. See, I've already done uh, that one. But these, uh, there's quite a difference between genuine station wagon windows and aftermarket ones that you might fit yourself. Um, the genuine ones have these channels in the bottom and uh, a few different supports inside, which I'll show you shortly. And they have a support that goes up the side across the top there, down there, has these drain holes on the bottom. Um, and you get these galvanised channels that, that go across the bottom um, with the drain holes in all the way down. Now these, these come galvanised um, originally and it, they, they're usually in relatively good shape. These ones are really good, they still had the galvan on it, it was just really faded. So I didn't risk getting them re-galvanised. I've painted them with the um, zinc uh, spray, aerosol spray. I didn't want to risk it just in case they're warped because they're really hard to get hold of. Um, it's a part that nobody's ever going to see anyway. And like I said, the galvanised, the original galvanising was in really good shape. I've just given them a bit of a clean up and, uh, and uh, that's it. And you get these channels, these felt channels. These do come a bit long. Uh, you have to cut them down, so you need a good, good uh, like junior hacksaw or something to cut them down. Uh, yeah, and there's no special tools required or anything. I was making this video just I weren't I weren't going to do it. I weren't going to bother. And then I thought, well, there's bound to be somebody out there who's brought one in bits like I did. Uh, isn't 100 percent sure how the windows go together, or um, like I did as well. I, I actually. Um, took these apart originally because the sides was off the whole truck was in bits but the windows was in um, and I took them out and I couldn't couldn't remember how to put them back together again uh, it's not very often you do these windows on these on station wagons it's not very often you come across from nowadays so uh, I just couldn't remember how, to, how they go back together again it's, the camera's doing that thing where it's fading again all the time but uh, yeah so right what I'll do is I'll move the camera around here a little bit if I go like that, you might be able to see what I'm doing. So yeah, you get these uh, these felt channels, and originally they're quite a bit longer than this, but you have to put them in. If I get the whole thing in the picture, there we go. You have to put them in place, mark them, and trim them down so they uh, they fit in. It's the same with the top as well, the top channels. Make sure they both fit in there, it's easier to do it now than later. Tip them out. And then uh, this is almost ready to go on the on, on the landy. So what you need to do is make sure that surface is clean, the surface it's going against is clean. And you, I've, I'm using this uh, Pura Flex 40 um, sealant and adhesive. It doesn't have to be an adhesive, it just needs to be a good, good quality sealant. And we're going to put loads of that down there. And try and get loads around there it's curling as it's coming out for some reason make sure we put plenty around these I think that's why let me clean this end off I think it's got a little bit of um, oh apologize for the uh, dazzling legs I think it starts to cure a little bit just inside the nozzle yeah making it curl as it's coming out. Right, bear with us a sec. Let's try this again, shall we? That's better. Don't worry about it being pretty or anything for now. Clean it up later. Put plenty around them holes. Around the drain holes. We'll wipe up later. And then you're ready to uh, slot this in. Carefully. It's going to squash out onto your paintwork, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And if I leave around, you've got a nut and bolt. Let's 
can be a little bit tricky to get to. a bit of a pain to line up. Go on, get in there you little bugger. Take you around and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you've got a little, see there, a little nut and bolt that's just got to try and get in there. I know I haven't put a washer on that, but it's not vital, it doesn't. That's it. In fact, actually, if I remember rightly, it didn't come with a washer on it originally. Yeah, but that's it's not a major structural thing or anything, you know what I mean? So all it is is just hold that in place. So right, you put your back round on the stand. With that in place, then you're gonna to need to slot this on. Simple enough. I say simple enough. Just make sure it's opened up all the way along. Where's uh, my screwdriver gone? Mr. Organised again. Just a little bit of a tight spot there that was pinching it. Squashes them two together there then. Now while it's still there. Uh, while it's still wet, you can clean this excess off that builds up around there. Just give it a wipe round. You might find yourself chasing it a little bit. If it gets on the paint, just rub. We get a fresh rag. Yeah, you will find yourself chasing it a little bit, but it'll come off. Make sure it's, you might need to apply a little bit more, just make sure it's sealed up all the way around. Otherwise water will get in from this side and uh, just go down. Into the back. You need to do this straight after fitting the, or it goes off and then you can't wipe it anyway. You could, I suppose you could leave it and stand the knife it off later. But, uh, Doing this way, you get to actually wipe it into the. Oh, what a chit. Very clean bit you need. Not all jobs are clean and fresh. Right, just wipe that little bit off of there. Don't like using paper towels, that's why I always keep loads of rags. Don't like using paper towels. Um, I had a job years ago um, cleaning brand spanking new cars as they come off the production line. Um, this really years ago. And in the in the lineup for cleaning, there wasn't a you wasn't allowed any paper towels on the production line whatsoever because paper towels scratch paint and you get them little micro fine scratches that you just get it in the right light and it shows up but it's because of them scratches that's why um, paper is really good for cleaning windows paper and vinegar what my mother used to make us use right uh, yeah that's in you get that bolted down Get your channels 
Hopefully they still fit in. Well, they shouldn't really. So if you can see there, just move you around a bit so you can get you a bit closer in. Is that better? Right, channels are in there. Now what we need is some little screws and. Drill. Right, so give us a sec. Right, if you've got some of these little flat headed screws, they're perfect. Yeah. So, where's my little pointy tool gone? No, I put these down for a second. Right, it's there, but I've already got it out. Right, and you'll see where this sits under there. It's got um, these bits, flat bits. So what we need is a little tiny drill bit, no idea what size it is, small, a millimetre or two, might even be three millimetres. And we push the seal right up. Use that one will do. Push the seal right up against that channel there, um, this edge bit there. Oh, snap me drill bit. I'm not too surprised that drill bit's done loads. I kind of knew it would. Let's fish this out. Got a little magnet somewhere. It's gone all the way through and dropped out the bottom there somewhere. There we go. That's a bugger. This black stuff gets everywhere. Right, you get the idea anyway. So we'll put them back in there. Now I've got to try and find that hole. There. That's where your pokey, pokey tool comes in handy. And a screwdriver, a screw. And screw that down. That's that job done. If you can get some slightly smaller screws, they're even better, but. The problem is it's drilling the holes with an even smaller drill bit. Um, right, so what I'll do is one there, one there, one there, and then the exact same on this back bit. Make sure it's all pulled up like that. I'll go find another drill bit. Just put a screwdriver down and then drill it. I'll go find another drill bit, get these done, come back to you. Next job, um, so I got a bit distracted. I had to go and uh, buy some new drill bits. I normally keep a load of them in. Um, where are we? We've got several different types, two and a half millimetre drill bits I was using. I normally keep keep quite a few of them in because they break really easy. They snap super, super easy. And, uh, but I've run out. Right, so I think I got to the point where I was screwing these down. They're now screwed down. Um, what you need to do now is much the similar to the bottom. You need to, sorry about the shoddy camera work, cut these down to length to fit up there. Like so, there's two of them. So cut them down to length ready. Uh, I've had to use a different stand, that's why the camera's a bit dodgy. Um, the other one kept dropping my phone out of it, which is no good at all. Yeah, that's in there, that's bolted up. You can see now, if you go up a bit closer, you can see where it seals there. So, um, Still a little bit wet, lot. 
Can we get a rag? Yeah. Oh, every time I do it, it's just putting more on. More on. That's about right for me. Yeah. Right, I'll get that in a second with some fins. When it's dry, should I say, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll put you on this stand. So the next job is to get your windows ready. Get you uh, there, there you go. I need to take this bit out. Because uh, if you just fit it in, you're not bothered about it being clean then. Fair enough, but these, uh, they seize up. Need to get some little rubber washers on there. Like so. It just unscrews like that. Don't, lo don't lose your, um, don't lose your bolt. Little like rubber shims. And on this side, there you go. Same again, some rubber shims, and just uh, just that. So what we need to do is to clean this up because that little ball in there should be moving up and down, and it's not moving anywhere. So let me move this glass out of the way. Lift you up a little bit so you, I'm not knocking you. <sighs> yeah, that's obviously you've got your button there, and that little ball should be, uh, you can see it just moving. You try and get that little ball out. But not a, oh, it's not a ball, it's a pin, should I say. That's it, that's out of there. Right, and then we'll go put that safe where you don't lose it. And I'm going to. Um, bench grinder with the wire wheel on it there back in a sec uh, once you've got that out and cleaned up nicely it's a big improvement just drop your ball in there you ball your pin get in the little sod and what you should uh, what should happen now is that pin should pop up but it's still gripping it so drop that out I wouldn't use WD-40 or anything like that in there because it, it, it evaporates too quick. Um, so it'll work perfectly and then within a day or two it'll start, it'll dry out. And uh, you can use uh, white, white grease or something but... Still pop up it pops. So that should pop back up on its own. Still not quite there yet. Something's gripping it. Just make sure there's nothing on the outside of that. So I don't know if you can see in there. No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna show it. Camera's not good enough. See how it's not popping up, look. so it's not going to lock. Dribble, dribble more oil on there. Couple of dribbles of oil. Try and do is get the the knob and turn it, turn it right round. I think that I think it's uh, worn inside a little bit. Just just spin that round. And now look. Oh, perfect. Great stuff. Right, don't lose that. I'm going to go and clean this up and. Uh, then we can get these windows fitted. Right, I'm going to try and film this now without um, 
knocking the camera flying out the back of the Land Rover. So we've got we'll put one of these in first, obviously the furthest one back. So we'll slot that window in there. We'll slot that on there like so and push that up. Now I just don't want to let go of that. They usually do hold themselves up, but I just keep an eye on it. Tiny little drill bit. This is where I forget where I drilled the hole because normally I mark them with a pencil. There, I think. Oh, it's milky day. Simple as that. And then we'll put one up here, one up there that will now, or hopefully will now, slide across. Do this last one. and tight and I know I haven't cleaned it yet but uh, I will you don't have to go mad with the amount of screws you put in these warmer in here. I know I'm always complaining about the temperature from ginger. What do you expect? Right, and then with the next bit of glass ready, you can slide that one in the same. In fact, I'll do that now while you're here. In fact, I'll just put this... Uh... Right, so we'll slot this next one in. Hopefully. Get in there. You know what, I think this is the, one of the first jobs I've done where I haven't used my new screwdrivers that got sent. Oh, oh dear. And they're really good for this as well because the ratchets. literally daily. Right, make sure that'll slide over the screws. What I might do, I can hear it catching on a screw somewhere. I'll get the electric impact driver and just put them down a little bit further. One more to do up here. One more. sides to do. 
Hey. Where was it? Right, they're not going anywhere now. Uh, got the runners to go on and the felts down the side. We're almost done now. Um, them felt seals and channels are in. Exactly the same process as the others. This one obviously has to line up with that window and that one goes up flush against there. Um, so there's one, well, there's two jobs left to do. Got these channels that go along the top like so hopefully it does anyway um these are riveted on Let me get me a riveter so we'll just quickly get these on put a couple in just to line it up what you might find let me just put this one in, hold on. What you might find is it's a little, oh, oh, there we go. Is it, it's a little bit tight. If it's a bit tight on that hinge, it still moves all right. Then you need to put more spaces behind it, more rubber spaces behind it. And if then spaces are knackered or anything like that and you need, you, you need any more, just um, get an old inner tube or something. Old car inner tubes, old Land Rover inner tubes are better because they're thicker but uh, any will do, push bike or anything. Get these in, make sure they're going to go in. Right. God that thing does make life so much easier. Just got a little splinter or something in the end of my thumb. Last one. And then I've got one more little trick to do on the outside. Uh, Come on, get in there, you bugger. I see, I think this one's going to want adjusting a little, adjusting up a little bit. Should fit straight in the in the hole without drilling it. Ooh. Right, you get in there. In there, and they'll line up now. Two more. Wow, wait. Hey. Obviously, I'm closing, closing the Land Rover up now, so it's getting warmer and warmer. Right. Make sure everything still slides. And then locks. Lock. Lovely. Looks like it should, more or less. Might be a little bit tight with the new seals and everything in there, so. Right, I'll, um, we'll go outside and we'll just do this last bit. Right, anybody that um, watched my last video on fitting the Defender um, door seals to a series landing um, will know what I'm talking about. For the bottom seals, the bottom seals on the doors, all the doors round, I just use an old, um, well not an old, a, a, a normal, Defend the door seal and cut it down. So you get these leftover bits, and there's a big gap there. So all we do is uh, cut a bit to length. You'll see there's a right big gap there um, if you're doing yours. And uh, yeah, push it in there. Actually, don't that way round's a bit better, I think. No, that way round. Yeah, 
push it right in because the wind, there the wind, the rain, sorry. What it's going to do is push up against there and it's going to drop down. But what it actually does is it misses this channel and ends up inside. Um, so by putting this there, the rain hits that, then goes down into the channel and comes out of the holes. And the window should shut perfectly like that. And you've got a nice weather seal there. Weather tight all the way around. So you can't put it the other way around, so because that window there is obviously closer. But if you put it around so the closer bit's on that side, then you've got that bit there, and the rain and wind will push down past that seal because obviously that rubber seal there it's not uh, 100%, but that's not meant to stop any driving rain that way because when you're driving, the rain's going that way. Right, all that's left to do on there is give them a good clean um, and stop wiping things with my mucky hands because I'm just making a mess everywhere. That's it now, job done. Wind is working, the locks are working and everything. Um, great stuff. Next thing to do is these door tops. Whilst these door tops are in, uh, I don't need to do the door tops to do it actually. The whole interior can go in. I can't wait to get that in. I really can't wait to get that in. Bare Mac interior, it's going to be ace. Uh, yeah, uh, as always, guys. Thanks for watching. It's slightly off garage. I'm going to go and enjoy a couple of beers. And uh, see you soon. Bye bye.